back in my day when we got the AK mags from Sportsman's Guide. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and when I was filming, or when I posted the video on this little guy, and by the way, here it is with the much requested drum magazine, uh, someone pointed out in the comments, like, that, oh, there goes Ian just picking up a Chinese all-stamped AK magazine like it's nothing. And I realized that kind of is nothing to me because of where I got them, which I think is a really neat story uh, that some of you guys will recognize. Those of you who have been around doing this for like 15 years will recognize this, and some of you younger folks uh, will have no clue what I'm talking about. So uh, this is the Great Sportsman's Guide AK Magazine Lottery. And back in 2006 or 2007, Sportsman's Guide, which did occasionally at the time get interesting military surplus stuff for sale, they got AK magazines. And it appears, I've never really dug in to verify this, but it appears they found a warehouse full of AK mags in Sarajevo and were able to import them into the US and sell them. And what was really cool about that thing is that it was all sorts of AK mags. It, it, that batch of what they were selling came from literally everywhere. It was stuff that had all wound up um, in Bosnia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, uh, the, the old Yugoslavia, as a part of the, the civil wars and the conflict there. And then Sportsman's Guide found it and shipped it out to the US. And they sold, so there are a couple series of these sales, and I got in on this on what was basically the second run through. Apparently the first batch were mostly Romanian magazines. It was the second batch that was full of all sorts of treasure. This was like opening packs of collectible playing cards, because you never knew exactly what you were going to get. Sportsman's Guide sold these things in bags of six magazines. There were these white plastic bags. The magazines were, generally speaking, horrifically doused in cosmoline, which did a decent job of preserving most of them. And you could get, it was like six mags for 40 bucks, or 12 mags for 80 bucks, with like a five dollar discount on each either package if you were a sportsman's guide premium club member or whatever they called it. Uh, and there were a number of people, including myself at the time, like I, uh, there are a lot of people who bought a lot of magazines through Sportsman's Guide because every time you got one of these bags you'd open it up and maybe it's going to be all generic Romanian, Hungarian, 30 round mags, nothing special, but maybe you're going to get some weird stuff. And so, me personally, um, I was on a, a forum at the time that had a bunch of people who were interested in picking up some AK mags, but not really any collectors. And so I organized a group buy on this forum, and the deal was I would buy a ton of magazines, and then I, when I got them in, I sorted them out. And I took all the really interesting and unusual mags and kept them, and I took the generic good condition shooter mags and used those to fill my group buy orders. And when I say this batch of magazines included everything, I mean, uh, for one thing, it had all, uh, well, Russian mags. So there were slab side magazines in there. Um, there were aluminum waffle magazines in there. Just some really, really rare stuff. There were Ishevsk and Tula steel mags. There were Ishevsk and Tula Bakelite magazines, which were at that time really quite scarce and hard to find and really exciting for people to get. I think it, I saw at least one person get a, like a Polish metal uh, Tantal mag, like an AK-74 mag out of one of these bags. Um, all of the really interesting Bosnian Croatian magazines that are on the market came out of this uh, this bulk importation by Sportsman's Guide. So this is a Croatian two-rib magazine. There were also Bosnian single-rib mags, and the one that I really wish I'd gotten that I never did get was a Bosnian fleur-de-lis mag that had a single rib and this big old stamped fleur-de-lis at the bottom of the magazine. Um, and a bunch of these were apparently made in somewhere in the former Yugoslavia at one point. Uh, there were, let's see, there were Egyptian mags, there were Yugoslav mags, I think I have a Yugo one. Yeah, Yugoslav mags with the bolt hold opens. That was really popular, like that was cool. You know, your AK doesn't have a bolt hold open, but a Yugoslav magazine will lock the bolt open, at least until you take the magazine out. There's some of that in there. Um, and then, for example, like the thing that triggered this comment uh, in my 
well, Krenkov video was one of these guys. It's a Chinese made AK mag that is all stamped. And I kept a bunch of these for myself, both the all stamped ones and what's called, I guess, a rollback, where uh, there's no big spine on the back of the magazine, but it still has the milled top to it. Um, what I liked about these is they didn't have that sharp ridge on the back of the magazine, so a little easier to handle. Um, they're cool and collectible mags now, but at the time, at least to me, it was just the more practical, easier to use, nicer magazine to have. So I ended up with a bunch of both of those patterns. And uh, this went on for a couple months uh, until they finally sold out of this whole stash of magazines. But as far as I can tell, nobody at Sportsman's Guide ever made any attempt to sort them or categorize them or like cull out the really rare interesting mags. They didn't care. They just took these things out of the crates dump them into bags of six and ship them off to people for about six dollars a mag. Uh, which it wasn't, that sounds like a screaming deal today, and it wasn't, like that was market rate for AK mags back then. Apparently the first batch they were selling for like two fifty a mag, uh, like twenty five bucks for a dozen of them. I guess that's closer to two dollars a mag, but uh, those were mostly the Romanian ones that sold out quickly. That was before I got into into this deal, but I probably ended up ordering a couple hundred mags from them, and there are some people out there who ordered thousands of magazines from them. And uh, I guess it's just a neat little reminiscence. If you've if you've ever run across some of those weird Bosnian Croatian mags, the single ribs and the fleur de lis, well, Sportsman's Guide is who you have to thank for those showing up in the U.S. Oh. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little diversion. Thanks for watching.